Welcome to Learning with Philemon. In this video, we will be taking a closer look at mass spectra, identifying the presence of isotopes in molecules. Elements can have isotopes, atoms with same number of protons, but different number of neutrons. For example, the main isotopes of carbon are carbon-12 and carbon-13. They both have six protons and six electrons, but C13 has seven neutrons whereas C12 has six neutrons. This makes the mass number greater, 13 instead of 12. Approximately 98.9% .9 of all carbon atoms are C12, and only around 1.06% of carbon atoms are C13. The carbon-12 isotope is more abundant. But how does this apply to mass spectrometry? Here we see the mass spectrum of propanone, also commonly known as acetone. Propanone has a molecular formula of C3H6O. Adding up the relative atomic masses, we get a relative molecular mass of 58. Note that I used whole numbers to make it easier. We expect to see a peak at 58 for the molecular ion, C3H6O+, formed. For more on this, please watch the previous video. This is indeed the case. However, we also see a peak at a mass to charge ratio of 59. There should not be a heavier molecule present in the mass spectrometer than the molecular ion. Pause the video now and consider how the presence of isotopes accounts for this. The reason we see a peak at 59 is because propanone contains carbon atoms. In our whole sample, some of the carbon atoms will be C13 rather than C12. If a propanone molecule contains one carbon-13 isotope, then its relative molecular mass is one greater, 59, not 58. Because carbon-13 is not abundant, there is a very low percentage of propanone molecules that are heavier, hence the very small peak. These peaks are often referred to M plus 1 peaks. Other isotopes can also affect the peaks we see in mass spectra. Bromine has two stable isotopes, Br79 and Br81. They differ by two neutrons. Their abundance is almost the same. Let's take a look at a molecule that contains a bromine atom. Bromoethane has the molecular formula C2H5Br. There is approximately a 50% chance that a molecule contains the Br79 isotope. In this case, the relative molecular mass is 108. If the molecule contains the Br81 isotope, its relative molecular mass is 110. Both these peaks are present in the mass spectrum, with almost an equal relative intensity. You can also see peaks for the bromide ions themselves at 79 and 81. This pattern can help us identify unknown compounds. If the two highest peaks differ by a mass to charge ratio of two and have an almost equal relative intensity, we can assume that the compound contains a bromine atom. Now let's take a look at a more complex example. Chlorine has two stable isotopes, Cl35 and Cl37. Their abundances are roughly 75 and 25%. Let's take a look at a compound that contains two chlorine atoms. Dichloromethane has a molecular formula of CH2Cl2. To explain this mass spectrum, we need to do some mathematics. There are three possible combinations of chlorine isotopes. A molecule could have two chlorine-35 isotopes, as seen here. This molecule would have a relative molecular mass of 84. The probability of having one Cl35 isotope is 75%, or 0.75 in decimal form. To get the probability of two chlorine-35 isotopes in one molecule, we multiply 0.75 by 0.75, which is equal to 0.5625. The second option is that the molecule has one Cl35 and one Cl37 isotope. 
the relative molecular mass of either molecule would be AD6. We use the same method as before to calculate probability, but we must take into account both possibilities, having a Cl37, then a Cl35, or having a Cl35, and then a Cl37. The probability is equal to 0 0.375. The third option is having two Cl37 isotopes in the molecule. The relative molecular mass is 88. The probability is calculated using this expression and is equal to 0 0.0625. Dividing all three numbers by the smallest number, 0 0.0625, we get a ratio of 9 to 6 to 1. We see this ratio in the three highest peaks of dichloromethane. This pattern is seen for any compound containing two chlorine atoms. Thank you for listening. To consolidate your learning, please try the questions in the description. If you haven't already, please subscribe for more content. Stay curious.